Honestly, in my neighborhood growing up, it was more like cooler to be a criminal like than it was anything else. If we live in an environment where the entire environment is traumatic, we think it's just normal. This is just my neighborhood. As opposed to, oh, this is consistently causing trauma for me every day. I served six and a half years. I have three children. I was out of their lives for 13 years almost. Prison. I'm a first generation college graduate. I grew up on the west side. My father was incarcerated. I got into a lot of like real fights like because like my mom is disabled. She's hearing impaired. My first language was sign language. We have trauma before birth. The way your mother was treated in the hospital caused the first set of trauma. I mean dealing with past traumas and things like that, I wasn't able to be a father. I lied. 600,000 are coming home from state prisons every year and 1.1 million are coming home from jails every year. And how we build the solutions to help prepare them for success after prison is one of the things that we're very passionate about. This is where I need to be. True. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing this morning? Good. Thank God. When I hear Play Shop School of Business now, man, I think about technology. This was my first time ever using a MacBook. I have never had no MacBook in my life. I'm like this, oh my God. I, I really like MacBook now. Huge eye opener. I created a pitch deck. We created a website. I really, really, really like Canva. Canva is like my thing now. I officially got my EIN number two weeks ago. All everything is surrounded is around entrepreneurship. So you gotta go out and go find your own. Focus on your script though. Lock your script in. Right. 10 x it. Like, that's what I learned here, man. 10 x it. If you gonna do it, you better 10 x it or don't do it at all. Dance between the CEO and the COO and the CTO. You know, how they all have to do their own thing but still come together and come. We all have the same goals. I just like me. I feel like it's like a family. My plans after graduation. I'm actually trying to open my own interpreting agency. Alex has an incredible business model to be able to help serve some of the members of the deaf community. Never underestimate the adversity, the amount of effort that it takes to build my dream. They say your net worth is your network. We go around and figure out how to help nonprofits continue to do this amazing work. Y'all literally just added to your work with Cohort 107. I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. So amazing to be here and to see beautiful black and brown faces um, of success. I'm expecting to see my family be proud of me. I got one son, he's six now, Harlem. I want him to see a man who been through adversity, but didn't let what he's been through describe who he is. From learning from somebody that looks like you is mind-blowing. I feel like I accomplished a lot in these three weeks that I've been trying to accomplish or attempting to accomplish, let's just say for years. You know, my partner, Ariel. She thinks that the Fish Stop School of Business program was definitely what I needed to make the next step. While I have big dreams and aspirations, I'm not the person that can make it all happen. It is an honor and a privilege to work with the Flick Shop and the Flick Shop School of Business. I thank you all so much for coming and joining us this afternoon.